and RP Kids, welcome back to another week of Free Will's Radical Praise Kids virtual video service. We're so happy that you decided to join us again this Sunday. My name is Mishonda. And my name is KK. Last month we learned a lot about love. We learned how Jesus shared God's love with our kids, even though he wasn't a very nice person. We also learned about the Good Samaritan. He taught us that we must first love ourselves before we can love anybody else. Do you remember what we learned about Noah? Noah followed the plan that God had for him. He trusted God and knew that God loved him and would take care of him. We were so excited to learn that as long as we stay connected to Jesus, we will produce good fruit. Remember, these are the fruits of the Spirit. Love, kindness, joy, peace, patience, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Jesus is the true vine and we are the branches. We learned a lot about love last month. I still remember the four values, do you? Let's say them together. Number one, love God. Number two, love one another. Number three, respect one another. And number four, believe you have a purpose. Did you remember all four values from last week? Way to go, RP kids. We knew you could do it. Well, I'm excited to keep traveling on this journey for knowledge. The first stop was love. Are you ready for the next stop? Here we go. For our next stop this month, we are going to talk about faith. Faith. I hear that word a lot in church and at home. I have a friend named Faith, and we're going to talk about her. We are not supposed to talk about people behind their backs, are we? No, KK. <laughs> we're not going to talk about anyone behind their back. That would be me. I'm talking about the word faith. Faith is trusting in something or someone. I'm not sure that I really understand what you are saying. It means we are looking forward to something that has not happened yet. If you were willing to follow directions without knowing the prize, it means you had faith that whatever was coming at the end was worth it. If you trust and hope in something in the future, you have faith. That is, will be something valuable. Can you think of the time in your life when you had to have faith? Okay, I think I understand. Last year, my parents and I took a trip to visit my grandparents. We flew on a plane. I had faith that the pilot was going to fly the airplane safely and that we were going to reach the next airport with no problems. KK, that is a perfect example of faith. Faith in God is believing that he can and will do all that he has promised. Faithfulness is holding to that belief even in the face of danger. A person who has faith in God chooses to love and obey him above all else. Guess what time it is? It's that my favorite part of the service, praise and worship. You already know by now that praise and worship is an opportunity for us to thank God for all he has done for us and to honor him for who he is.
topic is, did you love praise and worship as much as we did? It was amazing. Now it's time to practice our brand new memory verse for the month. Remember that our theme for the month is faith. So our memory verse is all about faith in the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews. The first verse says this, faith means being sure of the things we hope for and faith means knowing that something is real even if we do not see it. Now how about you and KK repeat after me, ready? Faith means faith means being sure being sure of the things of the things we hope for we hope for and faith means and faith means knowing that something knowing that something is real is real even if we don't see it even if we don't see it great job everyone so if i ask god for something and believe that he is going to do it that's faith yes that is faith but keep in mind that you are using your faith to ask God for it, but it doesn't mean that you will always get it. Sometimes we ask God for things that may not be good for us and God knows what is best for us. So he may not grant that request or may decide to do what you're asking at a later time. Sometimes God says no and sometimes God says not right now. But you have to use your faith to know that God knows what is best. My mom loves to say blessings delayed does not mean blessings denied. Is this what that means? Is she trying to tell me to wait on God? <laughs> yes, that is exactly what she's trying to tell you. Now it's time for the main lesson. Hi, Stephanie. Thanks, Shonda. Thanks, KK. Hello, Radical Praise Kids. Now it's time to get into our main lesson for today. As we talk about the lesson, we need you to remember the main point of today's lesson. Faith means to believe in God's promises. When I think of faith, I think of Abraham. Later in Hebrews 11, verses 8 through 12, Paul reminds us about the story of Abraham. It was by faith Abraham obeyed God's call to go to another place that God promised to give him. He left his own country, not knowing where he was to go. It was by faith that he lived in the country God promised to give him. He lived there like a visitor, intense, like someone who did not belong. Abraham was waiting for the city that has real foundations, the city planned and built by God. While waiting on God, Abraham continued to grow old in his age and reached a point where he thought he could no longer have children. His wife Sarah was also up in age and not able to have children. It was by faith that Abraham was made able to become a father. Abraham trusted God to do what he had promised. Can you believe that this man was so old that he was almost dead? But from him came as many descendants as there are stars in the sky. They are as many as the grains of sand on the seashore that cannot be counted. Let's watch a video to learn about the story of Abraham and why I like to call him Faith Hero. The enduring testimony of the Apostle Paul is that God can change anyone. Once a fierce enemy of God, Jesus powerfully called him to repent and offered him forgiveness and a new life. Paul believed Jesus and eagerly obeyed. Now he wrote to countless readers, urging them to place their full confidence in Jesus for deliverance and to remind them that his eternal treasure is worth more than anything here on earth. Paul reminded them of the faith of Abraham and how he sought after the promises of God as the ultimate treasure, because Abraham believed God. God promised that from Abraham he would create a great nation, and that through his family the Messiah would come. Leave everything behind, God told him, and move toward a land I will show you. So Abraham left the only home he knew for a land he knew nothing about. Even with the challenges of famine, family conflict, and the possibility of vicious enemies, he remained faithful to God. Although he was an old man, Abraham set off on an amazing adventure in search of the greatest treasure. Nothing else mattered to him because he believed God. God promised Abraham that his descendants would be so many they could not be counted. God said to Abraham, look up into the sky and count the stars if you can. 
that's how many descendants you will have. Abraham knew he could trust God, because when God makes a promise, he never breaks it. Abraham never gave up on the hopeful future that God promised. God was pleased with Abraham, and not ashamed to be known far and wide as the God of Abraham. Not because Abraham was perfect, but because Abraham faithfully believed in the one who is perfect. It was not because of what Abraham did or did not do, but because he had faith in the one who declared him sinless in the sight of God. Although Abraham was very old and his wife Sarah was unable to bear children, Abraham believed when God said he would bear a son. He knew with full assurance that God would stand by his promise because he knew nothing was impossible with God. Abraham believed with his last breath that God would keep all of his promises. God promised to make out of him a great nation from descendants as numerous as the stars, and he did. God promised him an heir, and he gave him a son. God promised Abraham the land of Canaan, and years later God delivered the land to Israel. God promised that through his descendants the whole world would be blessed. And many years later God sent his son, Jesus, to be born in the very line of Abraham, to be the perfect sacrifice for the sins of the whole world. Yes, the Messiah came according to the promises of God. He died and rose again victorious over sin and death. All those who declare Jesus as Lord and believe in their heart that God raised him from the dead will be saved. Abraham caught a glimpse of God's plan and believed. Wow, now did you see why I call Abraham a faith hero? A faith hero believes in God. Abraham didn't know exactly how those promises would come true, but he was willing to do whatever it took because he trusted that the outcome would be great. He couldn't have done it on his own, but he did it through his trust and hope in God. God did the work. Let's see if you guys were paying attention to the lesson. It's time for our trivia game. Oh, here's the first question. What is faith? Did you say faith is trusting in someone or something? That's right. Question number two. What is faith in God? Did you say faith in God is believing that he can and will do all that he has promised? I know you guys know this one. What did God promise Abraham? Did you say God promised Abraham to be the father of many? Wow, you guys are amazing. Last question. What do faith heroes do? Did you say they believe in God's promises and trusted that the outcome would be great? Excellent. So let's recap our lesson and remember our main point. Faith means to believe in God's promises. God wants us to follow him no matter what we do or where we go. God made a promise to Abraham and God's promises are good. God is always faithful and wants us to be faithful as well. He promised that a great nation would come from Abraham. He promised that Abraham's name would be great among the earth and that all people would be blessed through Abraham. God always keeps his promises. God wants us to keep our promises too. What kind of promises can you make that you can keep? You can promise to be nice to your sisters and brothers. You can promise to share with your friends. What about promising to help your parents with something around the house? We want to encourage you to talk with your parents and come up with a promise that you can keep. God kept his promises to Abraham, and he wants you to keep your promises too. Wow, today's lesson was awesome. During the week, we want you to discuss today's lesson with family. Tell them all about the faith of Abraham. Let them know that faith is what you can use when you're not sure things are not going to turn out the way you think they should. You can pray and say, Jesus, I don't know or understand why this is happening but I'm going to use my faith in you and to trust that everything is going to be all right. Yes, that was amazing. Okay, RP kids, before we go, just one last thing we want you to remember. Faith means to believe in God's promises. This week, we want you to send us a video telling us how you have demonstrated your faith in God this month. 
It could be how you kept the promise you made to your mom, your brother, or your sister, or even a friend. Email your videos to the email address at the bottom of the screen, and it may air during one of our future services. We can't wait to see all of your videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.